Well, hey there, friendships. Welcome back to Curtis's Corner. If you are new here, hi, I'm Curtis. This is my corner, and on today's video, we've got some unboxings to do. Yes, we do. Also, by the way, I'm loving these bucket hats. This one I got from the dollar store, but I've got three other ones, but I have not one from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, not two from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but three mystery boxes from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So, if you like unboxings and you are interested in seeing what I have in all three of these boxes and you're wanting to see what kind of a look I'm going to create, then keep on watching. Now, here's what happened. I ordered the, the Mini and the Supreme, which was the red one that I held up first. And four minutes later, I ordered this one. This is the Deluxe. The Deluxe arrived first, and I'm not entirely sure why. I guess all the Supremes were the last to be shipped out. But we're gonna go in order of the sizing, and we're gonna start off with our little mini box here. This one was the cheapest. It comes with five items, and I think it was only $25 US. The Deluxe, I believe, was 100 US, and comes with, I wanna say, eight items. And then the Supreme, I believe, was 160, and that came with, I think, 13 items. So, we're going to unbox her. I've already pre, like, opened, so that way it can go a bit faster. First item we have is from the Blood Money Collection. It is the gloss in the shade Peach Price Tag. I feel like that's gonna be very pretty. Oh, and it is. Look at, look at that. That is a beautiful color. Smelling you. Oh, same creme brulee scent. Love it. Item number two is a automatic eyeliner in the shade Assets. This is also from the Blood Money Collection. I'm not sure if I already have the shade or not, but this is the shade. This is what it looks like, and that is the shade at the end there, and very sharp. I have yet to use these, and I do want to use them in a look, so maybe today's look will involve this eyeliner. And if I already have it, then I shall be selling it. I got two more singles. Uh, one in the shade Undertaker and one in the shade Wealthy. Let's take a look at Wealthy first. Wealthy. Wealthy is just like a, very much like a nude, white, grayish. It's like a grayish color. Uh, perfect for transitions, perfect for helping to blend, so that is wonderful. And Undertaker, as far as I remember, this is from the, um, cremated palette. Oh, well, maybe not. Because this is very blue. This is a very blue undertone. But anyways, it's showing up really blue on the camera. So it's definitely not as vibrant of a blue. It is definitely like a dark, dark blue, like a navy. But cool. That's fun. And our last item in the mini box is a liquid lipstick. There is no shade name on it. This is just all that's on it. Just a little sheriff badge. So let's take a look. It's a nude. It is a nude. That's what it looks like. It's giving me like Gemini and Androgyny kind of mixed together. So is there a scent? Nope, no scent. Okay, cool. On to the deluxe now. So our first item is another gloss. This is in beaded glass this is from the Orgy collection. It is pretty. It is just like gold nude glitter it is wonderful loving that have a liquid lip in the shade calabasas and, oh, it's pretty it's very like it's very pink like it's a nude pink i like it sweet what else have we got in here <gasps> one of the main reasons why i got this the star ranch palette this feels like like it looks like it's pink wood, but it kind of feels like wood, but like the cheap, 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 cheap wood that you get at like Home Depot or something. So let's open her up. See, it's cute. This is cute. I like this. I've already seen this online, so I know what it looks like, but we get the little star logo, the star ranch, the pink horse, the pink yak there. We get our mirror here like that. 
It's like a little saloon window, which is cute with the little pink guns. And then, of course, it's, it's beautiful. Our actual palette right there. Very wearable. It's screaming country vibes to me. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So we will most definitely be creating a look with this palette because... Yes, ma'am. I got three more singles. I have Ice Tray right here. We've got Flourishing and Lemon Drops. So I'll take them out so you can see the colors. So this one's Ice Tray. It's nice, shimmery, icy, icy blue. Love that. We have Flourishing now. This one. Oh, nice. It's like a nice teal shade. That'll go good with Ice Tray and that other blue one, Undertaker. That'll look nice. Uh, lemon Drop we've got here. This, this is beautiful. Bright, shimmery yellow. Love that. That's going to pack such a huge punch. I'm excited for that. Okay. Sweetness in a bucket. Uh, lip Scrub. Ooh, pink grapefruit flavor of Lip Scrub. That's fun. Let's see what this smells like. Ah, that, I like that smell. It's pink, it's beautiful. Give it a little taste. Approved. Yum, that I love this. I remember in my one of my last unboxings. If I find it, I will link it right up there. But I remember kind of complaining about the singles, not realizing it at the time that this would have been a future thing. Now, in retrospect, I kind of wish I didn't get rid of them because <laughs> I had six different shades. Yes, they were all shades from past palettes that I currently own, which were the Cremated and the Jawbreaker palettes. But I now have a magnetic case from Jeffree Star, and I will build this, and I will show you when it's all built. After everything is done, when we come back and our base is on, I will show you my built custom palette with the shades that I currently have. So that's fun. Um, was that everything? I don't know if that was everything. Everything is here. I think that was it, okay. Ooh, I'm just thinking I can also add the Put It Back Green Shade from the Shane Mini Controversy Palette. <gasps> Cause I got that single, yes. Okay, we're gonna have a fun palette. Fun custom palette, okay. Last box. We got the big one now. This is gonna be a long video, I'm sorry friends. Ooh, a mirror and it looks like it's from the Summer Collection. I need scissors. I've cut it open, as you can see. Don't judge my cutting. Okay. Oh, cute! Oh, this feels heavy. Hi, me. How are you? So that's what it looks like. It's a little pink ice cream, cream school, popsicle thing. It feels heavier than the star mirrors. There's some good weight to this, and I can see my whole big old face. I can also see that I still have makeup on me somehow from Monday's video. And if you didn't see Monday's video, you can also click right up there to check that out because it was good. I reviewed the ColourPop Powerpuff Girl collection. I legit used like a, a, a makeup removal balm and then I used skin cleanser. What? Anyways, I like this mirror. That's my first popsicle mirror. I'll have that. So that's fun. Oh, okay. Another Star Ranch palette. That is fine. Um, I already knew I was getting this. So I've got two. And I will be giving that to Kira. Oh, I have another one. That's fun. Which means I must have... <gasps> I do. I have more shades. What shades are these? Uh, we got Entitled, Crystal Flesh, that sounds gross, uh, and Deceased. So let's start with Deceased. Ah! I threw it on the ground. Oh, it's a shimmer. It looked matte inside of the little tiny peekaboo star here. 
But it looks like that. I mean, it's nice. It's going to perform nicely. I know that for a fact. So I can go up there. Which one is this? Entitled? Enti oh, Entitled is pretty. Entitled is literally like flourish, only a shimmer. So that's nice as well. And crystal flesh. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. So it's very much like a, a peachy, golden, kind of nude shimmer. That's very good for an inner corner or a high light on the brow bone. That's fun. Oh, I already have this. I'm going to have to sell this. Blood Money Palette. I already have this. I did a review on it. Again, if you want to see that video, you can click up there. I'm just linking all my videos. Um, so I will be selling that. Lip Scrub in... Ooh, Candy Necklace. I don't have this one yet. smells good. It also kind of smells like the purple Flintstone vitamins at the same time. Yeah. 100% purple Flintstone vitamins. Not exactly candy necklace. But at the same time, there's like a hint of candy necklace. But it's like, like a grayish purple color. I'm going to try it though. I mean, it's good. It's good. Ooh. Wait a minute. Don't I already have this shade? It has a yak on it. Or bison or whatever it is. I think it's yak. Pretty sure it's yak. Um, but it's the exact... It's the exact same color as the one that I have with the sheriff... With the sheriff star. Oh, but it's different! This one's so much lighter. That's what it looks like. Is there a scent with this one? Nope, still no scent. Okay. Interesting. So, two special lipsticks. Fun! Oh, yes. Okay. A supreme gloss in celebrity skin. Now, I'm worried. Because every single one of these supreme glosses, they're supposed to smell like vanilla cupcakes. Vanilla frosted cupcakes. I don't know. Something vanilla and something cupcakes. That's what they're supposed to smell like. My friend Sabrina has, I think, two of the Supreme Glosses, and it smells like vanilla. Every single one of mine smells like old, expired butterscotch. And I'm not sure why every single one of them smells like that. It's upsetting. Like, my Gemini one smells like it. My one, my yellow one that I just got called uh, Urethra, smells like it. I think one was Weirdo, the black one, smells like it. Mm, I'm nervous now. Woof. <laughs> no, it smells like, ugh. Why does it smell like that? Why, why do I get the butterscotch ones? Where's my vanilla cupcake? I've got the gloss from the Cremated Collection, which is Heaven's Gate. Do I already have this? I can't remember if I have this one or not. I'll link my cremated one, my cremated video, up there as well. Haha, uh -huh, another video! Uh, where I reviewed that palette. And I'm pretty sure I got this one. So I'll have to look to see if I got it. If I do have it, this one's being sold. Um, so fun. Lip liner in the shade Dominatrix. That's great. I need that one. I don't have that shade. I know that for a fact. But I do have the lip. It is such a dark, dark color. It's like a brown red. <gasps> oh, it's pretty. Oh, I love it. This, wow, that's big. I got a shirt. I'm, I'm just looking at the shirt. So this is what it looks like. Tie-dye. His little logo's right there. There's nothing on the back. It's all just tie-dye. But the sleeves, ma'am. Here's the shoulder, and here is where it ends. That is a big open hole. I love it. And then we have... Oh my god, yes. One that I've been wanting. So, I got 
uh, in one mystery box, I ended up getting, I can't remember what it's called, but it, it's, it's the purple version of the Extreme Frost. And then I have Sour Ice, which is the green shift highlighter. This one is Lick My Glit. And this is the pink version. Ooh, loud! They're just, it's so pretty. I'm gonna open it up for you so that way you can see the pink. Do you see that? It is beautiful. I love it. Okay, that's it. Those are every single one of my items from all three of my mystery boxes. I'm going to apply everything that I don't have off camera and I will come back, show you my custom palette that I've created and we're gonna play around in the Star Ranch palette and try out some of these goodies to create a fun, fantastic look. So stay tuned and keep on watching, friends. Okay, everything is all on that needs to be on for this video, so let's jump into it. I'm just going to quickly set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist because it's beautiful. Mmm. It smells so good. Okay. I'm gonna be dump dumping, ew. Jumping into the Lick My Glit Extreme Frost. So, if you have never seen it, again, this is what it looks like. It's like that. You can see that pink shift in there. It's beautiful. I'm going in with my ColourPop F33 brush here. We're just gonna squiggle this across, grab my new little mirror, and yes, I am wearing the brand new shirt. And we're just gonna tap that off a little bit and just... That is stunning. Do you see that? Oh my God. She's a winner, baby. How do we feel about my brows today? Hmm? I don't, know, I don't know how I feel about them personally. I think they could have been a little bit better, but definitely, definitely not my worst. I'll throw up a picture of the ones that I think are my worst. I'm loving this like new C motion highlighting moment because I think it's beautiful and like, do you, do you just see that? Oh, beautiful. Okay. We're just gonna up here and up here. I'm gonna get it on the bridge here. Little pinky pink on the nose. Nice amount. Right here on the Cupid's body. Now you're probably like, why are your lips so pink? I used a lip balm that actually changes colors. Uh, just to hydrate. I actually forgot that it changed colors <laughs> until I put it on, so there's that. But anyways, it shouldn't change the formula. Well, not the formula, but the, the color too much of the shade that I'm putting on my lips later. But anyways, okay, highlighter on. You know my opinion on these. You've seen my videos before. You know that I live for the Extreme Frost. They're so good, so wonderful, so nice. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip into the Star Ranch palette and create a fun little look. I'm gonna zoom you in and uh, here we go. You're all zoomed in now. So again, this is what the palette looks like here. It is beautiful. Hi, me. How are you? Um, yeah, it's very country. I, I love it. I love the color story of it. I think it's so fun. And we're gonna just create something fun with it. Okay. Um, by the way, if you're wondering, I am having uh, my blush and bronzer are both um, Jackie stuff. Can I call you Jackie? I'm doing it anyways. They are from Jackie's collection in Jaclyn Cosmetics, the blush and bronzer duo. The foundation is the Morphe Soft Focus Finish Foundation. The concealer is Morphe 2. 
The brows are Rare Beauty. The setting powder that I used was the Luminous Magic Star Setting Powder from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And yeah, I just put the concealer on top of my lids as well and set everything into place as well um, to pre-prime everything. So, oh, and the, the lip balm is from Milani. It's part of their Green Goddess collection. So, I am gonna go in with... I'm gonna go in with an E22 brush from ColourPop. We're gonna dip into the shade Yak Farm. That's this one right here. And this one is gonna go into the crease. Immediate payoff. Wow. Like, uh, why am I using this as my mirror? Give me my popsicle. Oh, I need my popsicle. There we go. Now I can see much more of me. Um, yeah, it's it's a nice, like, country brown. I love it. I'm gonna just bring it right up to the front here and then get lower as I get to the back just to create that shape that I need. Now on an E23 brush, I'm gonna be dipping into shade Wyoming. That's the brown, where am I going? That's the brown right here in the middle. And that is gonna go onto the outer corner and swoop into the crease to deepen that up. So just right into that crease. And then just onto the lid here. I'm gonna go right where it kind of stops moving and then drag it down onto the lid. Why is my left eye giving me problems? My right eye went fine. Left eye is giving me issues. Just going back in on that first brush again with Yak Farm just to really blend it all out. Have something that looks like that. I like it. Okay, cool. Now, you know what? Let's just go different today. I'm gonna put Star Creek all over the lid. That's going to be this green one right here. That one's gonna go all over my lid. And I'm just gonna use a dry brush first, like I always do, testing it out. Oh. Oh, she's pretty. Bring it right into that inner corner. Oh. She is stunning. Yep. Yep, she is. And that's just with a dry brush. That's amazing. Okay, I want it a little more intense. So I'm gonna go in with my finger now. And just dab over that. But it's like, it's already so stunning. It's also extremely, extremely soft. She is beautiful. I don't know why, I always, every time I use a brown, I always, go in with a green after. It's like I like nature or something. All right, I'm just gonna go back in and just add a little hint of that brown back on that outer corner and just kind of lightly buff the edge. I think it also helps that when the, uh, the shadow is soft like this, it helps a lot more with the, the pigment. Like I know a softer press one always is gonna go, but like especially for a shimmer, I think they really, really benefit from a softer press. So that's what that looks like now. So now I think on the bottom, I'm going to, I'm gonna use Grand Prismatic, this blue shade here, just from the inner, about halfway and then halfway transition back into Wyoming so it connects to the outer and so for that I'm gonna be using these so for the blue shade Grand Prismatic I'm gonna be using my E28 brush
And then on an E27 brush going back into Wyoming. And that will just tie everything together. I like to make the connection and then go into the blend in the middle here. Uh, this look is very pretty. I'm just saying. Inner corner highlight. I'm going to go in with a mixture of two colors. I'm going to go in with Owl Eyes, which is the gold one, and that's going to be the under base. And then I'm going to lightly, like a whisper, I'm going to go in with Casper Mountain, which is this bright blue there, just to really kind of tie everything together. The gold with the brown and the blue with the green and the blue shades that I've used. Okay, these are the eyes all complete. I will be right back after putting on some lashes, liner, mascara to do the lips, so stay tuned. Okay, so everything is on. I'm loving how this is looking, so now we're gonna dive into the lippies. All right, so for the lips, I'm going to line with the Dominatrix liner. Then I'm gonna put on the Sheriff Star shade and top it all off with beaded glass gloss. So, we're just gonna do like a nice, quick uh, speed along, and I will give you my final thoughts on all these products at the very end. Okay, so that is the lip. All the, it's very dark. It is a very dark lip. I don't hate it though. So this is the final look, all complete. I thoroughly enjoy it, honestly, I really do. The gloss, the gloss is great, always. Lipsticks, always great. The lip liner, always great. The performance of the Star Ranch palette, supreme. It's so good. I don't know, I, I, it must be the color choices that he chose to do for this palette, but I find that they are so creamy, they blend so nicely, and every color complements each other. I mean, look at this. Plus, on top of that, hello Rare Beauty, look at these wings. <laughs> Fantastic. And, in case you're wondering, I'm also wearing the um, Lavender Boutique lashes in the style Mandy. Uh, they don't look like this anymore, the package. She revamped her package and I'm thoroughly excited for them. I ordered three more pairs so those are gonna be on the way soon and uh, yeah. <laughs> so do I think these mystery boxes are good for what you're getting? Absolutely. 100% I will continue to keep getting the Jeffree Star mystery boxes because they're fantastic, and even if I get doubles of things, I end up selling them, and people end up wanting them. So it's a win-win for everybody. But anyways, if you enjoyed how this video turned out, if you enjoyed how this look turned out, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put out weekly videos, and hit that notification bell, because if you don't, how else are you gonna know when I post a brand new video? You won't, so do it. I am now going to go and watch The Suicide Squad, and I will give you a review for that tomorrow. I I know I said I was going to give you a review last week for Old. I didn't end up getting a chance to go and see it. So that will come eventually at some point, but I will have a review for The Suicide Squad tomorrow, letting you know my thoughts. And if I think if it's better, worse, on par, than the first Suicide Squad movie that they did. If you're looking forward to that, again, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when that one goes up. But until tomorrow, bye friendships.